Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Importo Cup channel where stock is always boring. My name is KBH. I'm very excited for this episode because I'm gonna show you guys my very own Land Cruiser 300. I'll show you guys all the mods that I did to my car. Let's check it out. This is the first Land Cruiser 300 to sport this Wild Black Bison body kit. I'm very grateful that uh, Wild gave me the first allocation outside Japan. Uh, and I'm very excited to show you guys all of it. Uh, let's start first with this beautiful front spoiler. It changes the look of the car completely, guys. Because this lights, it's DRL, guys. Daytime running lights. In stock form, these lights are not included with the Land Cruiser 300. This is from Wild Japan. And I like this aggressive looking front spoiler from them. I painted this body color, then we accent it with satin black. I personally like this color combination. Uh, I made this satin black. This is from Wild as well, this front grille. Funny story is this grille, I air freighted it just to make it to this video. I want to show you guys a complete black bison setup. I like it because it's black, then it has chrome accents. In our previous Land Cruiser builds, I usually blacked out the chrome parts. But personally, I like chrome on a white colored Land Cruiser. Just to match my wheels. These are MV Forge. It's called Spoke Light. So this is the highest model, the highest series that they have. It's all floating spokes. Look at that. It looks so badass. And three piece. So it's bolted. This is the, the centers. This is the polished lip. Then, yeah, the inner barrel. I, I put a red highlight in the center cap just to match my Alcon Big Brake Kit. I usually install AP Racing, but for my personal build, I want something different. And yes, I put Alcons way, way more expensive. And I think. Um, it has a better performance. My car has uh, slotted rotors as well, two-piece. This red caliper color matches the center caps. It has red accents. The text fill is red as well. So yeah, this is the model, this is the brand. Uh, it's fitted with a Nito 420V measuring 305-35-24. There's no spacers. The over fenders comes with this uh, chrome accent. This is running a wild 70 mm. Can you believe 70 mm over fenders? This is the widest Land Cruiser in the Philippines right now. I've done several wide body builds, but nothing comes close to this over fenders and this wide. And uh, I did the custom forged wheels mainly because of this. Um, I don't like to run spacers. For me, it's a, a bit unsafe and it wiggles in high speeds sometimes. And I personally like to run custom offsets so I have a thicker lip lower offset negative 30 that's pretty wild for a SUV also did you notice it's lowered <laughs> the lowering springs is uh, from Jaws Japan then this I painted from chrome to body color I don't like chrome side mirrors the dual side exhaust I, I think this is my one of my favorite uh, uh, mod for this car. Look at that. So it's stainless exhaust with the burnt titanium tip. So usually the exhaust is at the back. So right now it's both sides. I lowered the car mainly because of the looks guys. Look at that. It fixed the bounciness of the car. Stock Land Cruiser, it's kind of boaty in my opinion. So this fixed the, the boatiness. And before just well, three piece. It's the same wheel. But the main difference is the two caliper setup at the rear. Look at that. This is for the e-brake, guys. So this is from Wild as well. The roof spoiler comes with the kit as well as the rear gate spoiler, guys. I really like it. It's very JDM. Two spoiler setup. Then Wild emblem. And I'm using a Wild Japan uh, t-shirt. Thank you, Shu, for giving this to me. I love it. So this is the rear spoiler, guys. I like it body colored on the sides just to match the sides and the front i just painted this satin black the diffusers are all satin black this comes with the kit as well 
uh, the rear brake light. So every time I step the brake, this lights up. Imperto Cup logo, titanium badge. So being a DJ, all my personal cars have a sound system. So this car has a focal three-way setup. So three speakers at the front, two-way focal speakers as well. At the back, I changed it. Then for the rear setup, it's a very, very clean setup. It has a subwoofer here. So the stock subwoofer, I changed it to a JL Audio. Then the amplifiers are here. Very, very clean setup. Audison amplifiers. Made by JC Car Audio. Well, I changed the sound system one week when I got the car. <laughs> Sounds and music is very important to me. So yeah, I changed it. Okay, we're now inside my very own Land Cruiser 300. I'll quickly do a, a review of the interior of the Land Cruiser if you haven't seen our old ones. So yeah, comparing to the Land Cruiser 200, it's a very, very big step in terms of interior design uh, and interior infotainment. Look at the big screen here. So Bluetooth, CarPlay, Apple CarPlay, you can play Waze and um, everything. Then the switches are very nicely laid out, big, um, very tactile. Everything is very good uh, when you buy a Toyota Land Cruiser. Uh, it can last you for a lifetime. Uh, it's a step up from the previous model, mainly because of the luxurious side of things. I love it. And the, well, right now it's summer here in the Philippines. It's so hot. The aircon on the seats is really comfy. One of my favorite features of the car is this uh, refrigerator. I always use it. When I go out, I put my cold drinks here. So yeah, you can open it both ways actually. So this car has a 3.3 liter V6 diesel engine producing 304 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. It's actually a very capable SUV. Oh, uh, I plan to tune it as well and you get 100 horsepower. So it bumps up the horsepower to 400 horsepower. So yeah, let's go for a ride guys. <laughs> it's actually not noisy. A lot of people were asking me, is the exhaust noisy? when you install an exhaust. So this car is sporting wild exhaust dual side tips. Going back, it's not noisy at all. So yeah, we're in uh, normal driving mode. I can put it into comfort, which makes the suspension even softer. But I find, I find it too soft. So I just put it in normal. But if you don't have the jaw springs, I personally like to drive it in sports. It's um, the suspension is harder and the boatiness is just okay. I'm the authorized distributor of Wild Japan products here in the Philippines. I got the dealership of the brand. So I asked them, when will you finish the body kit? Because I always wanted a Black Bison body kit from them. Uh, and I wanted this Land Cruiser to support that. So the weight is worth it. I co-designed the, the wheel design with the MV Forge. Hi David, thank you for my wheels. I've been featuring a lot of wild products and I'm very excited because I have a secret feature build. I cannot say to this channel but yeah that will support a wild setup as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fast. <laughs> it's not fast at all. But yeah, I mean, I still enjoy it. One of the, the things that I don't like about the Land Cruiser is the irritating lane assist. It always vibrates. You have to turn it off. How I wish it's, it's off when you start the car. I always say one of my first mods to a car 
is a brake system guys so this car is sporting an Alcon big brake kit I love it and it's for my safety I hope you guys love our Land Cruiser 300 build comment in the comment section below like subscribe share uh, I enjoyed this video because this is my own personal car and uh, I'm excited to show you guys more cars in our channel I'll see you guys on the next one goodbye